Michael epic debut, man. I don't think I'm anyone's ever gonna top that. I don't even think if Prince Nassim Hamed came out of retirement, he, he could top that. Yeah. Talk to us about the atmosphere, man. It was it was epic. I don't think uh, you'll ever get an atmosphere like that at a, at a professional baby. You know, yeah. I think it's just Irish fans, man. You know what I mean? Irish people follow follow, follow their people, and you know, uh, I'm very proud of being Irish. They were very proud of me that day. Yeah. There's a video out there where Manny told you you're a professional now, right before you walked into the into the arena. Yeah. But what did McGregor tell you right before you walked out? He was just telling me to be calm in the chaos, control the chaos, feed off the chaos, because you know not not a lot of people are able to control themselves under those big lights. And, you know that was like the atmosphere for a World Title fight. You know, there's been a lot of World Title fights that have had that kind of atmosphere, so. That'll stand me in good stead for the future and all. If I ever do get in that position for the world team, you know, I know what the atmosphere is going to be like and I'll be able to control myself a lot more. There's a great writer out there, Kevin Ioli. He writes for Yahoo. Yeah. Um, he said he hadn't felt that kind of hype for a debut for a fighter since Oscar De La Hoya. Yeah. Uh, what do you make of that? And, and is that a good or is that a, is that a positive? Is that a negative? What, what does that mean for you? It doesn't mean anything to me, you know. I don't pay attention to what people say and what people write, even if it's good or even if it's bad, because, you know, that's their opinion, and, and to be honest, their opinion's their opinion, it's not my opinion, I know what I'm going to do and I know what I have to do, uh, so whatever they say, whether it's good or bad, you know, I'll let them say it, but, you know, I, I just have to go in there and prove it in the ring, and on the night, you know, my performance wasn't good, I, I thought my performance was very bad, but at the same time, you know, I had to deal with a lot of pressures, uh, which a lot of people don't have to deal with good debut, so, you know, I, I'm happy with how it went, and I'm happy with the future. So, would you, would you admit that Conor McGregor walking you out, fighting on St. Patrick's Day, having your family there, your friends, the thousands, the masses, being on television, it got to you a little bit? Not, not that it got to me, you know, it just it adds pressure, and, you know, I, I wasn't worried, I wasn't, I wasn't nervous or nothing, it was... It was more pressure on performance than anything. Everything else was good. Uh, it was just I, I wanted to impress and I kind of enrich my work a bit more. You know, I don't feel it was uh, it kind of dampened anything. I, I feel like it actually, you know, I wouldn't have changed it. If, if I look back now and someone says you could have a quiet day with stuff, no way, man. Listen, that was, that was an experience I'll never probably you're never going to experience again because of professional debut. So, you know, uh, I'll never be able to experience that again and I'm glad I experienced it the way I did.